Hello YouTube and welcome back to another reaction video on the channel and today we're back again once again on the bandwagon because if you missed out on the previous, you know, reaction video I did which was a couple of weeks ago back when I was uploading again, early January, mid-January time, uh, I reacted to a sequel pretty much. So this page, we're, do, we're doing sequels now because some of the reaction videos have like really surged with views recently so I thought it's time for sequels it helps it helps the algorithm to like grow the channel and stuff so that's the, the trying to try to grow you know that's the best way to do it and these reaction videos really do help so we'll be seeing a lot more of these in the future so if you are hyped for that make sure you smash a like on the video down below uh, so today we're reacting to the top 10 Simpsons songs because the best of Simpsons reaction video I did couple of last year I think I did it like early last year uh, did really well so and just more Simpsons today hopefully this one does as well and helps you know put my channel into the algorithm and just like you know search your numbers so hopefully it does that so let's just jump in let's it's not me waffling let's jump into this <gasps> reaction video Who likes a Here we go. Musical number? Do. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten Simpsons songs. These are going to be all throwbacks. To Plow, that's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. For this list, we're looking at the best musical numbers from Simpsons episodes that are still stuck in our heads. Yeah. We're basing our picks on funny lyrics and bizarre concepts that went beyond simple parody. We're only including songs from the show, so album one-offs like Do the Bartman do not count. Oh, the Simpsons. Have no fears, we got stories for years. Like Marge becomes a robot. Number 10, we are sending our love down the well. Okay. We're sending our love down the well. Down. When all attempts to get Timmy, or actually Bart's walkie-talkie, out of the well, I, I remember all these episodes so well. It's ridiculous. Together to sing a charity song, just like We Are the World. We're sending our love down the well. Features Springfield celebrities like Sideshow Mel and Rainier Wolfcastle. Even Sting joins in, lending his amazing vocal talents and hilariously over-the-top poetry <laughs> to the song. The hole in my heart as deep as the well for that poor little boy who's stuck halfway to hell. <laughs> the track also mocks how ineffective charity singles are, and suggests yeah. they're more about money than actually helping people. They, yeah. Kresge's own vocals are grating on the ears. That doesn't stop the song from being funny and memorable. <laughs> God damn it, Crossy. Number nine, you're checking in. I'm checking in. Now this one is a very niche one. I do remember it, but it's very niche. Not like the top tier ones for me. But, you know, it does the job. Hey, check it, check it. During their stay in New York City, the Simpsons decide to check out Kicking, Kick a <laughs> journey through the Betty Ford Center. The show starts with a jury listing an actor's horrific crimes through whimsical melodies. We got behavior both chronic and recent. Right as the judge seems to kill the show tune, he hits an amazing high note to send the song into its second half. I should put you away mm. where you can't kill or maim us, but this is L.A. And you're rich and famous! Your check-in hilariously romanticizes celebrity rehab clinics while also managing to rhyme together a surprising number of narcotics. No more pot or Demerol. No more stinking fun at all. <laughs> With its crazy lyrics, you're checking in is iconic for somehow making its subject matter musical. <laughs> Number eight, did it. we put the spring in Springfield. This is one of the top ones that I remember. These are all like early Simpsons as well. You're not going to see a Simpsons song in like the newer ones. I've not seen most of the newer series, but the old ones I've like seen loads and loads of times. And all of the freaking songs, the top tier songs, are from like that season four to season like nine, ten era of the Simpsons, where they got musical musicalness in it. 
I don't think I know of any like new Simpsons songs. If you, if there is any top ones from like the new Simpsons, let me know in the comment section down below. But the heart and soul of Springfield in our Maison Derriere. Right as a mob is about to destroy La Maison Derriere, Homer breaks into a musical number to explain why it's so important. With a little Dixieland jazz swing, Belle and her dancers explain how they improve everyone's lives in Springfield. We're the sauce on your steak. We're the cheese in your cake. We, we put the spring in Springfield. Just as Reverend Lovejoy questions their moral legitimacy, two the burlesque dancers point lack of morals that are a safe of big of morals. Because you think so bad, we seem to entertain your dad. Mayor Quimby's wife even protests the building. Before he reminds Oof. her, she works there. Come on, Bob, you were working here. I know. Don't think we're there in 1950. Just heard this place existed. Why do I still know all the words? I know all the words. I'm such a sado. Oh no. Oh, the frickin' Nero, but it's still wheel drive. Like a stick, to 645. Can you Nero? Canyonero. For an SUV as legendary as the Canyonero. Literally, I don't know why I remember this song like all the time. Every time I see the word Canyonero, I've got I've got to say it. Canyonero, Canyonero. I don't know why. It's it's fixed in my brain. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. Not just any song will do. With his deep baritone, Hank Williams Jr. manages to make even the most dangerous claims about the vehicle seem impressive. In between screams, whips, and a safety disclaimer explaining the car isn't safe to drive anywhere. The Federal Highway Commission has ruled the Canyon Arrow unsafe for highway or city driving. Canyon Arrow also tackles how crazy SUVs are and boasts about sizes that are larger than any tank in history. The song even lampoons overt patriotism in <laughs> car ads, between lines about killing animals and unexplained fires. Top of the line, you <laughs> <utility laughs> sports. Unexplained fires are a matter of courts. It's a fitting <laughs> song that also riffs on the ridiculousness of the rawhide theme. Move him on, hit him up, hit him up, move him on, move him on, hit him up, rawhide. Let him out, right him out, let him out, let him out. Number six, Baby, Baby on board. Um, Baby on um, board, something, something, Bert Ward. <laughs> Though Homer's stint with the B Sharp didn't last long, he did produce a track amazing enough to win a Grammy. Baby on board mixes barbershop music with a little banjo board. for a surprisingly catchy number from Homer, Principal cool. Skinner, Apu, and Barney. With my baby, baby on board. And while the lyrics are a little corny, they tell a heartwarming story about unabashedly loving fatherhood. Exactly. But it's inherently a parody of a certain time in music. Baby on board could easily pass for a barbershop standard. It could really. Baby on board. Wait, in that white... Right, hang on a minute. That's supposed to be Chief Wiggum right there, yeah? At the bottom. Front cop, yeah? He's nowhere near fat enough right now. He's not. He's a skinny man, you know? This is what you get from 90s editing. Yeah. Because... Could, could George Har yeah, because George Harrison was in this episode. Baby on board ties this entire it's been done. Together. It's been done. Number five. Happy birthday, Lisa. Uh, this. Okay. Okay. Right. This episode of The Simpsons has recently been deleted from time. It's not on Disney Plus anymore. It is nowhere because it features a certain. Michael Jackson. Now, you know, all that Neverland documentary and stuff, all that shouting at the Batman has gone everywhere. So, Disney thought it's best to get rid of the episode on The Simpsons. But let's get rid of it. Just forget about it. Didn't exist. So, yeah. But, you know, it's still, again, you can't, you can't fault it. It's a good song. But, you know, a bit touchy. You this day. To make things up to Lisa, Barbara picks up Michael Jackson's little... sound alike for a musical birthday surprise. With just a drum and piano, the pair sings Lisa a wholesome song with a little R&B groove. 
Birthday Lisa. Bart's friend Leon does a spot on Jackson impression and brings amazing vocals to the track. He's got it. The real MJ could only do Leon's speaking voice for legal reasons, leaving the singing up to Kip Lennon. I wish you praise and joy. Yeah, he wasn't. Was so magical that years down the line, Bart and Leon revisit and add verses to it. Oh no. He even gets a I do arrangement in the credits, but sounds just as amazing stripped down. I don't know if they redid it. I need to watch that if they did. Yeah. Number four, Dr. Zayas. Oh no. The human's about to escape. Get your paws off me, you dirty ape. Though you may remember Troy McClure from such productions as Give My Remains to Broadway, <clears throat> he sang his heart out in a musical called Hi. Stop the Planet of the Apes. I'm My name is Troy McClure. <laughs> Number of the show parodies Falco's Rock Me Amadeus by singing and dancing about Dr. Zayas. <laughs> Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas. Does a great job making lyrics out of the original script. With break dancing and a surprise piano solo, <laughs> Dr. Zayas truly has everything. This play has everything. <laughs> Closing number Good even words, lines like Chimpan A to Chimpan C <laughs> and summarizes the film's twist with a genius monkey pun. Dr. Zayas is brilliantly funny. I was here all along. As you finally made a monkey out of me. Number three, we do. Yes. Who put the metric system down? We do. As a celebration do. of their far-reaching power, do, 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 do. song at the dinner table. Their spontaneous singing claims that they control the monarchy and are the reason the metric system isn't used in America. The stonecutters even suggest they're behind conspiracies like Atlantis and Martians. Something's under wraps. We do. We do. Is infectious. The song also features rare singing moments from Lenny and Carl. God damn it, Lenny Carl. says the stonecutters made Steve Gutenberg famous. We made Gutenberg, we Steve Gutenberg, a star. We do. It's we jolly do. melodies and zany lyrics made We Do a Simpsons staple. Why is there an egg? Why is there an egg? Why is there an egg? I need to rewatch. I need to rewatch all Simpsons now. How is this only number two? How is this only number two? This is the best Simpsons song ever. I just. I don't know what could possibly be number one, apart from See My Vest. That's the only one I can think of which can beat this. But the monorail song is absolutely top tier goated. You can't beat it. You can't. You just can't beat it. It's so good. I give you the Springfield monorail. In an effort to get monorail. Springfield to buy monorail. a monorail, Ryan Lee gets everyone monorail. to sing along with his show tune sales pitch. Lanley busts out a piano and starts fielding questions Monorail. from the audience while playing. Monorail. I hear Did the birds are awfully loud. Did it as a cloud. Is it around the track could bend? Not in front of my Hindu friend. Not in front of my Hindu friend. Just like Lanley did Springfield Citizens. Despite being one of the show's longest Monorail. songs, it's mostly Monorail. made up of spoken lines rather than overt singing. Springfield with the back. Sorry, Mom, the mob is spoken. Though Monorail is fairly short on jokes, its pastiche of old musicals will easily have you singing along. Monorail. Mono. Mono. Do. Before we unveil our number one. Oh. Here are some the garbage man can. Garbage man can. Oh, the garbage man can. Then I doubt y'all like Nick Flanders are it's creepy little offspring rotted. There's so many good ones. Creepy little offspring rotted type. Hooray! Can I borrow a few? Oh no. Could you lend me a jar of love? God no. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest. Do that below. Do that to that to the TV Studio channel. Notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your like. settings and switch on notifications. Do all that stuff down below. Number one. Yes. See my vest. Yes. See my vest. See my vest made from real gorilla chest. Mr. 
but but the but the 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 guy who said it. Do this hat towards my cat. Does even wear a vampire hat. It's so good. These white slippers are albino, Africa endangered rhino, grizzly bear underwear, turtles next. I've got my share, a ray of poodle on my noodle lingerie. I've got a proper my vest. Mr. Burns' ecstatic singing sells the ridiculous humor and almost makes like it forget it's a parody of the guest. Like my loafers, former gophers. That to see my shoulders. Da, da, na, na, da, da, na, na. You gotta admit it's catchy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this I do. I do. But ev everybody hates Ned Flanders should have been numbered in the top 10. It should have been. It should have been. It just should have been. Well, that was the reaction to the uh, top 10 Simpsons songs of all time. Uh, apart from Everybody Hates Ned Flanders, which should have been on the list, I think that was a very accurate top 10. I really do. Because I I need to like rewatch all these Simpsons episodes now. My, I've got Disney Plus. It's, it's on there. All 30 seasons are on there. How long will it take me to watch them all? Probably until, I don't know, three, four, five, six months if I watch like two a day or something. It's ridiculous how many there are. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed, uh, make sure you like like the video, which really does help grow the channel. Uh, if you can think of anything else you want me to react to, let me know in that comment section down below or join the Discord server, which is linked in the description down below, where you can go and join. And leave suggestions over there for uh, video ideas, chat with other of the imposter army, and just grow the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!